live from Studio 46, this is Good Morning Union Canal. Good Morning Union Canal, a place where we show respect, show responsibility, show safety, and do our job. Please rise for the salute to the flag. to the flag. And now let's say our Union Canal Creed. Today is a new day to reach my potential. You may be seated. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, February 13, 2018. It is day two on the special schedule. The announcements this morning are given by Lily Tice and I'll be looking at it. Today's lunch is breakfast for lunch. Oh, did somebody say breakfast? <coughs> oh, hey, Brandon, what are you doing here? I think we both know the answer to that. We're talking French toast, <coughs> sausage, patty, hash brown, go-gurt, the works, also fresh fruit, veggie bar, and milk. Yeah. Woo! On the salad bar is chicken <coughs> dumpling soup. And the sandwich of the week is tuna salad or plain old cheese sandwich. Happy birthday to Gavin Bennett and Vera Vera. We would like to welcome all the guest teachers who are with us today. Today's top stories are the General Mills box stops contest is underway. Today <coughs> is the next counting day, so make sure you turn in any box tops that you might have already brought in. Next week will be our last counting week, so get cut so get cutting those participating General Mills products, you see. Remember, the top three classes will each earn an ice cream sundae party and one of the rare box top trophies. Attention all students, Cedar Fest High School invites you to be their guest at the Beauty and the Beast Royal <coughs> Breakfast this Saturday. Hey Billy, have you ever wanted to eat breakfast with a talking <coughs> clock? Why, yes, Olivia. As a matter of fact, I have. Well then come on to Saturday to Cedar Crest Middle School where... Ah, messieurs and mademoiselle. Who are you? The name is Lumiere, and I'm here to tell you about the Royal Breakfast this Saturday at Cedar Crest Middle School. Yeah, actually, we were just getting to that. Hey, do you think the talking clock is going to be there? Did somebody mention breakfast? Now what? The name's Wardrobe, and I'm here to tell you, students, that the royal breakfast only costs $7. Why, I might think I have those in one of my drawers here. $7, got it. Where's the talking clock? Oh, my. I'm so, so sorry I'm late. I was down with Miss Campbell in her library. Boy, does she have a lot of books. How do you guys keep getting in here? <laughs> the name's Belle, and I can't wait to meet all of you this Saturday morning at Cedar Crest Middle School. 
Hey, did you know that if you sign up for the Royal Breakfast by tomorrow, you'll get a free autograph? Autograph book. Yes, yes, we know. <laughs> oh, well, all right. Oh, and don't forget to grab one of these yellow... Yellow papers down in the office, right. Seriously, no talking clock? Roar! Ah! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I just got a little flustered. The name's Beast. And well, I just hope that all of you will come out and have a breakfast with us this Saturday morning at Cedar Crest Middle School. It's going to be so much fun. Singing, dancing, eating. You won't want to miss it. Sorry again for scaring you. It's alright, nothing my therapist and I'm not work too. Hey Beast, I've got a question about the royal breakfast that I'm sure is on everyone's mind. Is the talking clock is the talking clock going to be there? Why, yes. I believe he will be. All right, I'm in. Great. Then it sounds <coughs> like you're going to... Be our guest. Be our guest Saturday morning for breakfast. Thursday night. <clears throat> Come on out and support your classmates as they try to cor correctly spell words. And speaking of spelling words correctly, it's always important to take time to check your spelling. Whether it's the spelling bee or not, with that in mind, here's another installment of our segment. That's not how you spell archaic. Archaic. Wow, girls, this is a really nice map you have here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. That's not how you spell Arctic. <laughs> I would watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's head over to Mrs. Marsh for the weather. Mrs. Marsh? The weather forecast for today is sunny skies with a high of 40 degrees. Temperatures look to warm up over the next couple of days <laughs> with rain moving in as well. Nothing like a soggy Valentine's Day, am I right? But either way, you can still make it a great one. Thanks, Mrs. Marsh, for Lily Tice and all of us here at Good Morning New Canal. I'm Olivia Lickapazer, reminding you to be more awesome. Have a great day. <laughs> Wear more deodorant. <laughs> Ooh. That is an important skill. Yes. yes. <laughs> to bow the monkey. You look like a monkey. Monkey. Honesty is always important. <laughs> This is Mr. Litz fixing a crazy light. First we want to turn off the crazy light section. There we go. I want to open up the... Take out the light bulbs. Then take out Area where I'm going to replace the ballast. Now that I t turned off the light, there should be no power to the to the light, so I can cut off the wires. Now I want to remove the the black and white wire, which is the hot neutral wire. Now 
now I will take the old ballast out. Open the new ballast. Now I'll install the new ballast. Now the, the old ballast was wired up differently than the new ballast is, so I have to have to do some modification. Now I'll strip all the wires and get them ready for the wire nuts. Now I'll take these wire connectors and rehook all the wires. Now we want to hook back up our lead wires to get power to the light bulb. It looks like there's still some remnants of when Mr. Lutz shot that graffiti off. Now we put the channel back up covering the ballast. Put the two light bulbs back in. Now we'll close back up the lid. Sure. Go back over and turn the light back. So, Now you have no more crazy light. Uh, always think safety first. Please, kids, do not try this at home. Um, this is Mr. Lutz signing off for, for fixing a crazy light.